use a, a sports psychologist to, you know, to help you maximize your performance? Yeah, I actually did. I worked with a sports psychologist for about three years, the last three years of my career. It was very, very helpful. Um, actually, the last two Olympics. Uh, partly because, um, real quickly, before, uh, after, after 88 and my falls and what happened there, every single question I got leading up to 1992 was, are you going to be thinking about your sister or are you going to be thinking about falling? I even got every, those questions. Yeah, I mean, every one. And so I wanted to be able to go to the starting line without those thoughts in my mind. But I will tell you that um, it, it was hard after I didn't win the 500 in, in La Lama. I, I went in there, uh, I mean, nobody, I had five fastest times in history. Nobody was going to beat me, and, and I slipped, and, and, and I didn't. And I had three days to prepare for my last race. And um, just that it, it, it helped me to, I come from a big family. We both do. I'm the youngest of nine children in my family. And, uh, and, had great parents, still do. Um, and they always taught us great lessons in life about just, you know, it's not all about winning, it's just being your best. And, and I, uh, you know, I remember a strange thing. I was literally getting ready to go to line, and I, I thought about everything from my sister to my family that was there. And I, I, um, I remembered that when I was, when I was a kid, I, I, I was growing up, and I always used to ask my mom and dad a question. And, I used to want to know if we were rich, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and I said, "Mom and Dad, are we rich?" And, and I, you know, I said, "We had nine kids. My dad was a police officer. My mom was a nurse. We, we had no money." Um, but they always said, "Yes, we're rich because we have nine children." And they, they taught us the things to be thankful for in life, not you know bitter about things we didn't have. And, and I thought, you know, in a little over a minute here, my Olympics are over, and, and if I win or if I finish fourth or if I fall. I'm waking up tomorrow morning and, and this is it. I'm not going to change. And my clo people close to me, Bonnie and my family, know that. And and so I was able to sort of just put everything aside and just uh, just go to the line, sort of with a clear head. And it, it was really helped. It was just the last little shot of perspective. And, and I guess it worked. <laughs>